Dia 41, weapon that even makes Brahmos look weak, once launched it can strike any corner of the world, Range I the DF-41 is designed with advanced technology that makes it a strong competitor to the US Minuteman and Russia's Sarmat missiles. Its operational range is assessed to be between 12,000 and 15,000 kilometers. This places nearly the entire continental United States, Europe and Africa within reach, along with most of Asia and the Pacific region. With a top estimated speed of Mach 25 and a circular error probable accuracy of around 100 meters, the missile is considered one of the most precise and powerful ICBM in existence. China is set to showcase the DF-41 intercontinental ballistic missile at its September 3rd military parade in Beijing, alongside hypersonic weapons and drones. With a range of up to 15,000 kilometers and multiple nuclear warheads, the DF-41 signals Beijing's growing global reach. China is preparing to stage one of the most significant military parades in recent years, with its newest missile systems, combat drones and advanced armored vehicles set to be displayed in central Beijing. At the heart of the showcase will be the DF-41 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, the longest range and most powerful weapon in the arsenal of the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force. The DF-41 is designed with advanced technology that makes it a strong competitor to the US Minuteman and Russia's Sarmat missiles. Brahmos is known as one of the most powerful ballistic missiles in the world and has proved its strength during Operation Sindor against Pakistan. But when it comes to long-range missiles, nothing compares to China's DF-41. This intercontinental ballistic missile, developed to boost China's nuclear deterrence, is considered one of the most advanced strategic weapons of the People's Liberation Army rocket force. The DF-41 can strike targets as far as 15,000 kilometers away and can carry multiple warheads that can hit different locations at the same time. Weighing around 80,000 kilograms and measuring 22 meters in length, it can be launched from silos, roads, or even rail tracks. According to reports, the development of the DF-41 began in 1986, and it officially entered service in 2017. It was first showcased publicly in 2019, and in September 2024, China successfully tested it over the Southern Ocean to prove its long-range capabilities. Strategically, the DF-41 gives China the ability to reach most parts of the United States, Europe, Asia, and even Africa, making it one of the most far-reaching and powerful missiles in the world. The DF-41 is designed with advanced technology that makes it a strong competitor to the US Minuteman and Russia's Sarmat missiles. Experts believe it not only strengthens China's defense but also impacts global nuclear balance and security. China reportedly plans to produce 50 to 100 units of this missile. The DF-41 is a solid-fueled, three-stage missile with an estimated launch weight of 80,000 kilograms and a length of 20 to 22 meters. It has a diameter of roughly 2.25 meters and can carry a payload of up to 2,500 kilograms. The missile is designed to deliver multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, with Chinese state media claiming it could carry as many as 10 nuclear warheads. Development of the DF-41 began in July 1986 under a program called Project 204, led by China's Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology. Initial work was merged into the DF-31 program in the late 1990s, but a renewed effort in the mid-1990s revived the DF-41 as a distinct project. By 2010, deployment-ready versions were transferred to the PLA Rocket Force. The missile underwent multiple flight tests, beginning with its first launch on July 24, 2012, from the Wuzhai Missile Launch Center in Shanxi Province. A series of subsequent tests in 2013 and 2014 demonstrated its range and warhead delivery systems. In August 2015, US officials confirmed that China had flight tested the DF-41 with two independently targetable warheads. Later that year, China tested a canister ejection system for a rail mobile version of the missile. Further trials in 2016 and 2017 included tests with guided warheads. By 2019, the DF-41 was believed to have entered limited production, with 18 launch vehicles observed at a training site in Inner Mongolia. 16 launchers were unveiled publicly at China's 70th anniversary parade that same year. In September 2024, the missile was tested in the Southern Ocean, reinforcing its capability to strike distant targets. Analysts believe China has begun constructing silos capable of housing the DF-41, with at least 16 identified under development at a training facility in Jalantai as of 2021. 
The missile is also capable of being launched from mobile road vehicles and has been trialed with a rail-based system. Experts estimate that China aims to produce between 50 and 100 DF-41 missiles, which would significantly expand its strategic arsenal. The weapon places Beijing on par with the United States Minuteman III and Russia's RS-28 Sarmat ICBM, consolidating its position as one of the world's foremost nuclear powers. How does China's DF-41 compare with India's BrahMos? One of the most prominent systems of India is the BrahMos cruise missile, developed in partnership with Russia. First tested in June 2001, the BrahMos is recognized for its supersonic speed, precision, and ability to be launched from multiple platforms, including land-based vehicles, aircraft, and naval ships. The standard version has a range of 300 to 500 kilometers, while the extended-range BrahMos ER can strike targets up to 1,500 kilometers away. Development of the BrahMos 2 aims to achieve hypersonic speeds of Mach 8, while the BrahMos next-generation version will reduce weight for deployment on a wider variety of platforms, including submarines. The BrahMos gained prominence during India's Operation Sindor, where it demonstrated its combat effectiveness against Pakistan. The BrahMos serves as a tactical precision strike weapon suitable for conventional warfare scenarios. India has also leveraged the BrahMos as a strategic export tool. In April, it delivered a batch of the missile to the Philippines as part of a defense contract. China's upcoming parade will not only commemorate a historic anniversary but also highlight the rapid modernization of the PLA. The DF-41, with its unmatched range and warhead capacity, symbolizes Beijing's pursuit of a robust second strike capability. DF-41, weapon that even makes BrahMos look weak, once launched it can strike any corner of the world, alongside the parade's display of hypersonic anti-ship missiles, drones, and advanced armored vehicles, it demonstrates a military strategy focused on countering US dominance in the Pacific and preparing for technologically advanced conflicts. Few countries have developed so many anti-ship missiles that cover all imaginable categories, said Su, reflecting on the broader trends evident in China's military development China is already the world's fourth largest exporter of arms, with clients mainly in developing countries such as Pakistan. By exhibiting weapons like the DF-41, Beijing wants to reinforce its status as a major player in the international defense market.